I was at Berkeley and taking these courses in quantum economics, etc., uh, was the only person that enjoyed it in a class. And I think, and every, I was excited because it was like a chapter, a story. In every class, we got new algebraic formulas uh, on how the world worked that we could write, put in, and our computers, our 360 was about as big as this room at that time. And I, when I think about the book and many of the principles you put forth, I think about the advancements in technology, computing power today versus us writing those little algorithms every uh, class to try to define what was happening in the world. And in many ways, your effort to create a meritocracy is based somewhat on those little formulas that we had written down in that class at Berkeley. Take us through that concept. Well, I mean, you, yeah, you remember it well, uh, like you say. Uh, and we had those little punch cards, right? And you would drop them in. And then I learned what regression analysis was, right? Wow, and that was the key to discovering everything. You know, you just put the data in, and you got the two independent variables, and it explained it, and then, then you understood it. And, um, uh, but at the time, yeah, um, I mean, literally, um, I would have uh, uh, colored pens and rulers to plot my graphs, uh, literally operating that way. But, um, and then I remember uh, when I started my business, you know, which was in 1975, I had an HP 67 calculator. So you put the little thing in and you type in and you got the regressions and that's where it started, right. Um, but yeah, for you and for me, I guess, I, you speak for you, um, I then began to understand that we could put things in equations um, and we could put our thinking in equations. Um, and algorithms, they were called equations then, they're <laughs> algorithms now, they're basically the same things. And, um, you, and then you could have the computer start to think in parallel with you. And that's when it began. Um, so, I won't, um, so I would say it the opposite way though. Um, it wasn't that um, that thinking led me to have an idea of meritocracy. It was that I wanted to have an idea of meritocracy for other reasons I'll explain that then made me use the algorithms to help me do that. Um, in particular, let, look, in order to be successful in the markets, you have to be an independent thinker who bends against the consensus because the consensus is in the price. So, and also nobody's good enough to know themselves that they can, all the answers. So, you know, I learned by having, you know, the shit kicked out of me uh, a fair amount of time. I learned a certain amount of humility. And then I knew that I didn't have enough of the right answers. So I wanted a bunch of independent thinkers. And so when you get in think independent thinkers, then how do you get past that? And you, you know, you're going to want to have an idea meritocratic process. And then uh, what I found is that algorithms allowed me to do that because rather than think about what decision we were going to make at any point in time, we would think about what the criteria for making the decisions would be. And, and then if you write down those criteria um, and, and make them clear and then put them in the form of an algorithm, then you could test how they would have worked over history. And that allowed idea meritocratic thinking. And we also had a ways of getting past it. I'm sure we'll get into those. I don't want to uh, hijack that by explaining that those ways. But that led us to make um, use algorithms to have an idea meritocracy to make better decisions than any individuals could. And that's been really the key to the success. It's one of the it's in the work principles here, and it's that one of those things that I really want to emphasize because I think we're now in an era in which when we talk about open source and uh, such things, we're now in an era, an era where uh, idea meritocratic thinking can be then systemized to produce better results than it, any individual can produce.